Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a bubble chart where each marker is also clickable. So if you go on here and click it, it will actually open a Google Map. This open a Google, opens a Google Map of the area or the neighborhood inside Gaza called Azaitun. This one will open one, a neighborhood called Yibna. Um, and so on and so on. Let's do one last one. Here's one, Jabalia. Um, and this actually opens a, in a different um, different map. I didn't only use Google Maps, uh, but all this is are links, right? It's just opening these links right here. So you can see not every single um, row has a link. Um, so if you click on certain markers that don't have links like I'm doing right now, nothing will happen. Only the ones that have links will actually open in a, in a browser to see the area of that Google map. Now, um, I'm very much interested in this project. So if you would like to, uh, if you're interested in this project as well, or would like to help me complete the links here um, of Google Maps uh, to uh, these locations, uh, or uh, you want to help me find the latitude and longitude for each location, or maybe build on top of this data set uh, or similar projects, you can go to the Charming Data platform uh, that's open and free for everyone. Uh, just uh, log in, sign up, and uh, and you can reach me here. Just send me a private message. Okay. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow we have our Monday meetup. If you go to events, you'll see that our Monday meetup tomorrow at 8, 8 o'clock Eastern time. We're going to discuss our upcoming October project. It's also going to involve some AI, so I hope to see you there. All right. So... Let's close these tabs and go over some of this code, which I'm also going to put on the Charming Data platform if you want to download it. Um, so let's go here. So here's the code. So first, we're importing all the libraries that we need. Right? We're going to use Dash, Pandas, Poly Express, and Web Browser to actually open the link that exists in every single cell in this data set, or wherever it exists. First, we read the data set, because if you look at the folder, I have my app in the same file, the same directory as my Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet with all the data. So I'm reading the CSV sheet into a Pandas data frame. Uh, some of these um, on, in column one kilometer, we have um, a few empty values with this string num exclamation mark so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove i'm going to create this filter to take all these cells and just remove them from the data frame so i only have rows it's about 10 or 15 rows that i remove from the data frame and then i'm going to convert this column to numeric right and so after i have my numeric column now i'm going to create my scatter plot the scatter plot is going to be total events on the x-axis and one uh, one kilometer on the y-axis. And what it is is simply the total events represents the explosions or violence against civilians or excessive force uh, within an estimated population that are exposed to these events within one kilometer. So if we go here, we'll see that in a Jabalia camp. There are about 51,101 uh, people within one kilometer that have been exposed to 308 uh, events of this type. Right? Now, this data I took from this website right here. Oh, I have to reload. Uh, well, I want to reload because it's going to erase everything, but this is this is the conflict exposure, uh, exposure calculator. You can take it from any different any country around the world. I chose Gaza because the conflict is happening right now in Gaza. Uh, probably the worst one around the world. And so I'll give you this website so you can look at uh, this country or other countries. And then uh, I also use this website to find some locations because certain locations I couldn't find a Google map from this from this uh, column. All right. So we have our uh, two uh, columns that we're going to uh, put on the y-axis and x-axis. We're also going to put the one kilometer as size and the color as total events. So if we go here, we'll see the size depends on um, 
of the bubble depends on uh, how many civilians um, live in that area and are exposed to conflict, and the total event is the color. And then if we want to show this on, on in Dash, um, we are going to just assign this fig to the figure property of the Dash graph component, right? And here's our title of the app. So here we have our app inside the layout, which is just a title and a graph, a title and a graph, an interactive plotly graph, of course. Now, uh, to be able to read um, the links that exist inside um, every marker, uh, you will need a dash for this, right? This is another link that we have. So you need dash to re read the click data. Let's go back here. Let's go back here and we'll see that we're going to use a dash callback. Let me explain what, what's happening here. First, we're going to take the click data property of this ID. This ID belongs to the DCC graph. So we're actually taking the click data, which is a dictionary, right? This click data, this click data is the same thing. It's an empty dictionary. We're going to read it. We're going to listen to it, right? So whenever somebody clicks on the click on, on a marker, it's going to give us some information. Not an empty dictionary, but some information. And we're going to say if click data, if somebody clicked on the marker, we're going to extract the click data points zero. And it's probably a lot easier if we just do print click data. So you see where this is coming from. What is this referring to? This is actually the location, but we will see that right now. We'll go back to the page. Okay, let's click on this one. Let's go back. Now you'll see this is our, we're printing our click data points zero. So click data is all of this. We're going to go into points, which is the this key value. And then we're going to go into um, zero. Where is uh, click data points zero? This, this one right here, this whole thing, right? Right, this dictionary right here. And then we're going to say extract the column of DF location where uh, this uh, point, right? This, all of this dictionary right here, custom data right here, which is, uh, um, which is actually this one, the key value zero. So we're extracting this, right? this um, city right here. So if we go to a different one, let's go to this one right here, Yibna. It's actually going to extract this one right here, Yibna. Right? If this one, we're going to actually extract where the location equals that city. And there's only one city or one neighborhood per row. So it's going to extract that row from the data frame. And it's going to give us the index, right? And the index of that row of Yibna will be wherever this, you know, will do um, control F, here's Yibna, so the index is going to be probably 101 or depending on when it, if it starts at 0 um, or 100, right? So we extract the index number because we need that in order to read the correct link. We want to read this link, not this link right here, not this link right here. We want to read the link that pertains to the row of Yibna, of that neighborhood that was clicked on, the marker that was clicked on. So if we're going to say if type of we're going to go into df lot we're going to go into that index number in this cell all of this right here represents this cell right here cell 100 i i 100 and we're going to say if it's not float because if it's empty it's the type float if it's not float if it's not of type float then it has a string it has a google map in there and now we're going to extract or open the the, the string the link with the web browser so web browser open, this is what we imported. And we're going to import exactly this, uh, that this specific cell, this data right here, right? So we need we need to go into the right correct row, into the correct column. And that is where our link we have, and it opens that browser. But if we click on a different marker that doesn't have it, let's go here, for example. So you click here, nothing happens, nothing happens. Only when we click on markers that actually have uh, a link attached to them will it open um, will it open the link so this is really what i wanted to show you um, this data is obviously uh, google maps is a few years old uh, so we don't see um, present time 
Uh, I've been trying to get some present uh, data uh, and satellite imagery, but it all costs um, a nice chunk of money. So um, I didn't do that yet. Uh, but if you are interested in this project, let me know. Send me a message on uh, Charming Data, and uh, we can talk more about it. I'm going to put all the links under the video. Uh, I'm going to put the code uh, here as well in, in the announcement space. Um, come join us. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Talk to you later.